Hello everybody, welcome. This is Sonia. Hello. She's very kindly uh, volunteered to help me with this filming, this uh, live session today. Uh, Sonia uh, first started coming to me in January. Last year, late last year, she had an operation uh, around her abdomen area just to remove something and uh, was left in quite a lot of pain afterwards and lost weight and uh, she decided to try Reiki and she came to me in uh, early January and we managed to do 11 sessions and she was getting quite good by the end of them so a lot less pain and uh, different things that she, we were doing so uh, unfortunately lockdown come so we didn't finish the last two sessions it flared up again in the meantime and she's been coming to me again since July when we were allowed to start healing again and uh, yeah, improving. So I think a couple more sessions probably you'll be sorted yeah. and you know ready to carry on. So, so uh, she's also got a problem with the throat that causes her to cough and she's getting a bit of reflux which she's been treating. She also has quite a bad back so you might notice the pillows, the cushions are on here and that's so she can get her feet up high. Anybody with a bad back really you want them to be able to lift their feet up because laying flat on these tables really does hurt your back sometimes. And also, uh, I get her to lay on her side rather than on her uh, front for the same reason, you know, to avoid giving her back aches. So. Okay, when you're ready, if you'd like to lay down, get yourself comfortable. Okay, so three nice deep breaths. Okay, that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just ground and protect Sonia with uh, just see my roots growing into the earth and acting as a grounding stick really. And I also have invoked that white light of protection come down around her at this time. And just to envelop her, which I'm protected and grounded myself as well. So just envelop her with white light, really ground her, connect her to the earth. See roots growing out of my feet and her feet into the earth. Really helping her to be grounded and protected. So during this session, if you'd like to receive some healing, I'll send in the Reiki Master symbol to you so you can benefit from some of this healing too. I just call in my guide to help me with this healing and assist me. And we step back, draw in the master symbol, and evoke it three times in my mind. Just gently push that in through the aura, into her crown. And this is the bright light, white, light of Reiki and just open her chakras letting the Reiki master symbol open her for this healing so she'll be ready to receive at the deepest level and the Reiki master symbol contains all symbols the distant healing symbol the power symbol the mental emotional symbol so I'll sign that into you and evoke it in my mind three times. Just push that across and beam it to any of you that would like to receive some heat during this session. And just do a circle of light and a Tibetan grounding symbol, Raku. And evoking it three times to protect and ground you. That's it. Nice and relaxed now. So we both sanitised our hands as soon as Sonia got here. And because of uh, the lockdown rules con concerning uh, therapies and, you know, hairdressers and all these sort of people, including Reiki, we have to wear masks to protect each other. Nice and relaxed now. 
just let all the tensions go. So I am going to be healing just down one side of Sonia this side, just so the camera can see everything. Normally I heal both sides. So I'm trying, because uh, of current situation, not to touch too much of her skin on her face and arms, hands. Nice and relaxed now and peaceful. And just really let go of any tension. And we've been treating Sonia for some anxiety which is caused by the, the operation and different things she's worried about. So that's probably causing the reflux she's getting as well, her anxiety. So we treat all our clients in a holistic way, healing the whole body. Hands-on healing is the most powerful way of giving healing. Some healers like to heal with their hands off, but I prefer hands-on. Other than sensitive areas, the bust on women and the pelvis area on all clients. The bottom don't heal there or inner thighs, we just give hands off healing around those areas. Nice and relaxed and peaceful. Just healing towards the back of the head at the moment. But the Reiki will flow wherever it wants to go. So I don't talk quite as much on these videos as what I do on YouTube. Nice and relaxed now, so. And I'll be doing some descriptions to those watching. Whatever we have wrong with us, it quite often manifests in the mind emotion. So, healing the mind to begin with is really the best place to start. And what we have in the mind is reflected in the body. Of energy, it just flow where it wants to go. And because the, her major problems in her abdomen, I'll just move around to the side, draw in the Reiki Master symbol, and invoke it three times. Just into this area. Normally, the hand positions are here. So that's on her belt line. With men, you'd want to go a little bit higher. I have got Sonia's permission to go a little bit lower over the centre of the problem. So Sonia's been in a lot of pain. And during these sessions, she's been having spasms, which they're starting already. Uh, and they can be quite painful as the Reiki is drawing this negative energy out of her. And it can make a, a cringe in pain because it exasperates it. A bit painful, yeah. Just really get that healing working in that area. That was painful, wasn't it? I can feel her spasms inside of her. That's the negative energy being drawn out of her. Thank you. 
just allow that healing to carry on in that area. Just continue on ahead. Nice and relaxed now. Let all the tension go out of your muscles and body. as much as you can. Hands off healing over the forehead, and over a crown shack with my other hand. Just give some healing onto the throat chakra and the cough that she's been having. Any Reiki healers like to close their eyes throughout the whole session, others will close their eyes at times or open them at times, as long as you're in that healing mode and the channels most freely for you. Overly talking to your clients is really distracting, it's distracting the healer from healing. But it's okay to have a little talk. Nice and relax now. Just above the bust and under in the T position. About on the bra wire there. And that's really going into all of her organs wherever it wants to be on the surface. into the heart chakra, into the throat chakra. Reiki would greatly heal over the chakra energy centers. And let it flow with love and compassion for whatever your client is suffering. And love and compassion are great healing forces combined with Reiki energy healing. I'm just going to point slightly down here, down her digestive tract. I think the valve's opening in the top of the stomach, maybe. Reflux from that? Yeah, she's getting reflux from that. As you do it, it causes the problem quite often, so she's getting a bit of reflux at the moment. But it seems maybe the coughing is a bit better. I'm 
just your palm over the heart chakra, hands off healing. Nice and relax now. Letting everything relax within you. And that energy is going wherever it wants into the chest cavity and open. Put hands on our men, put hands off healing on women. And heal them over the past. Normally I'd go down one side, each, each side, and do the arms. I'll just get the arms a quick go to that. At the joints. Just hands off healing over the wrists and the hands. So you can spin around the chakras, drawing out negative energies. Just draw that up into the bottom of your hand and pull it away and throw it behind you, as long as there's nobody behind you. So this is by intent drawing out negative energy that you can take hold of. Just throw it behind you, ask the universe or your guide to get rid of it over the heart chakra. over the solar plexus, sacral, root chakra, which you can do behind if you prefer. Now give us some more good healing here. Start to spasm again a little bit. I don't know what's wrong inside, so I just allow the Reiki to travel where it knows it needs to go. And it will find that way to that problem. It will find its way to any depletions in that area. That's quite high up here in that diaphragm, isn't it? Normally the spasms have been around this area, but there uh, must be a need up here. She's in a lot less pain than she has been in the past. I don't necessarily follow the traditional Reiki right hand positions I have my own. Okay, that was that was quite sharp that one. So you can find patients jerking their head if they've got mental emotional problem or if they've got a pain somewhere they have, have spasms or pains around that area which are hidden but they can feel in quite a good condition before they come back that's the, this side is it mm -hmm. Mm 
So even if I go down to her feet, she can still be jerking up here because the energy is still going there. That dissipate in its own time. Just hands off heaving over the pelvis. Don't touch the inner thighs. Right, now you can scoop negative energy out of the person. And Sonia said before she can feel things being pulled to the surface inside of her body. Sometimes as this is scooped out, you just scoop that negative energy out, take hold of it. Sometimes there are tendrils of energy, wisps of energy left. You just throw that behind and uh, do the power symbol which is the sealing symbol, we seal some healing into that area. If you take out, you must put back in. So if you remove negative energy, you must put good energy back into that. It will replenish itself, but it can leave a slight cavity for a little while. Okay, just down the legs. The legs are fine, so she doesn't need much. And Rake is travelling down and through the whole session. Important to go on the joints as well. On the soles of the feet, just get your palms underneath. Most of the meridian points end up in the feet, so it's good to heal the feet, the soles of the feet. Now we just scan, detecting any changes in the energy which would mean there's an additional need for healing in that area. So I can pick up a difference there, it's a bit more needed there. And her head a little bit. So give additional healing to those two areas. Quite often clients and Reiki healers will both find their tummies rumbling during a session, which is quite normal, it's getting everything working in you, <coughs> getting rid of toxins and built up residues. So just a power symbol, invoke it, push it into seal healing into that area. The same with the mind. Push that in for anxieties. Mental, emotional healing. So normally with Reiki you will seal healing at, <coughs> at the very end. Is that your tickly cough? Mm. <laughs> <coughs> she gets a tickly cough. going to seal healing to your throat as well. I 
The coffee's been quite considerably less. When did your cough start? Um, six weeks ago. Alright, oh, six weeks ago. Mm. And it's been less, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah. And just cleanse that aura and just sweep the aura. Just get any debris out of the aura. Okay. Can I just get you to turn on your side facing that way up? You get yourself comfortable. <coughs> just the back of the head now, neck. Sonia's got a problem in her right shoulder blade, which used to give her problems, but it's okay now and then lower back. Yeah. And I'm just gonna sign a power symbol into her back. Give that healing. Like she needs it into her shoulder blade. And that puts the power of Reiki on those areas more. When you draw in a power symbol, it focuses it onto those areas. In the back of the neck. And healing down the front, we don't have Put our hands around the neck, just hands off healing over the neck, or just pointing your palm up towards the neck. Both shoulder blades healing now. Hope you're receiving some healing from this video. Do you find the healing relaxing sometimes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Sonia had healing two days ago with me and uh, she'd been doing night shift anyway and she came to me early in the morning. She went home and had a healing sleep for a few hours, <laughs> which... Uh, it's really good, you know, if you can have a healing sleep after the session, quite often you feel tired. And uh, the healing really goes to work on you. And Sonia said many times she felt like a healing sleep afterwards, but the next day she's felt very vibrant and positive and uplifted as all the negativity has been drained and, and dispelled out of her. Just going down the spine now. Not hands not onto the bottom. No, I'm just going to give this additional healing here. A lower back problem. Just pull that negative energy down. Just scooping it down with your hands. And just grab it in your hands and just throw that off behind you and brush it off your hands. And then hands off healing over the bottom.
just over the root chakra as well, which is in the base of the spine. And just healing down through all the chakras from her crown to her root chakra. Just aligning them, balancing them, cleansing them. And just behind the knees. Calf muscles. Ankles and heels. Let's scan again for any additional needs. Hmm. Feel a little bit on my back here still. Gonna seal some healing in with the power symbol on there. And close the chakras down her brow, crown spirit dip into a normal state. Never fully close. Throat chakra, heart chakra. Solar plexus. Sacral. Root chakra, any other chakras that are particularly open, just close them down. To a normal state in her spirit dimming. Because Reiki can really open you up to spiritual things. Okay, now we just finish by grounding on the ankles. We should see Lynn first actually. Just seal the healing in behind her heart, in front of her heart, and that will seal the healing in at the last for up to three days to continue working. And lastly, we just ground her. Bring her back to the present, the here and now. Reconnect her to the earthly vibration. That's it, Sonia. Just come back in your own time. Well, that's it, friend. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you got some healing out of that too. So, how was that for you? Okay? Great, yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well, thanks for uh, being with us, and thanks for doing this for no me. No problem, thank you. Because people enjoy watching these. <laughs> okay, everybody. Love and light. Bye. Bye.